Well, as you can see, I have uh, Firefox open, and I'm having a little bit of a problem with it. But not only Firefox, I'm having trouble with the Internet Explorer, too. So what I'm going to do is uh, download Google Chrome and see if that makes any difference. But I should probably explain what's happening before I bother doing that. So. Um, what I noticed is when I upgraded my computer and then installed Windows 7 Ultimate 64-bit, for some reason certain websites don't like the 64-bit um, OS or something. I'm not exactly sure what the problem is, but uh, yesterday I came over here to... Uh, HP's website to download drivers for my printer and when I come down here I click on my operating system it then takes me to uh, an executable file that I can download and that's where the whole thing goes to hell uh, when I click on the executable file it just won't download the browser freezes and the whole operating system freezes I can't use my keyboard, I can't use my mouse, uh, I have to end up restarting the computer. So I'm going to attempt to open up Internet Explorer, but the last time I did it froze, uh, the whole computer froze even though I didn't go to any websites, I just opened up the Internet Explorer, but still it, it froze. So. I'm going to attempt to open it, but uh, I think what I'll do is I'll stop this recording, save this, and open up a new recording and try to open it. Here we go, and hopefully it doesn't freeze the whole computer up. So far so good, my mouse is still moving, and there we go. So now I'm going to switch over to my camera, stop this uh, screen cap, and then I'll show you what actually happens, because then I'll have my camera going. It won't, I won't lose anything, so I'll be right back with my camera, and I'll show you what's going on. Alrighty, so hopefully you guys can see this okay, and I'm going to try going to Scotiabank, and I'll show you what this thing does because it's a real pain in the ass, and I'm hoping I can get it fixed. So here we go, we're going to Scotiabank, and it just glitched a little bit, but uh, let's click on take me to the Canadian site because that's the one that really foobars the situation. Okay, see? Froze up. You can see right there that my mouse is uh, stuck. I can't do anything if I type. It doesn't do anything if I press Control alt delete It doesn't do anything. The only thing I can do is restart my computer and uh, then everything works fine until I try to go to a website like uh, Scotiabank. And like I said, it happens on Firefox and so far on Internet Explorer as well. So now I'm going to restart the computer and download Google Chrome and I'm going to see if it happens on there too. So I'm hoping that it doesn't, but uh, I'm thinking it probably will. So I restarted the computer and I opened up Firefox and I'm going to show you the same thing with Firefox and more than likely it's going to crash unless uh, something drastic happened between yesterday and today. So let's give it a try. Yep, see there it goes, crashed again. So what I did do is before I clicked on that, I downloaded Google Chrome, so now I'm going to restart the computer again, and I don't know if you can really see, because this is kind of hard to see, but there's my mouse pointer, and I can move, I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm moving my mouse around, 
and it's not doing a damn thing. And same as before, if I hit Control Alt Delete, can't get the task manager. I can type all kinds of stuff and nothing happens again. So, so I'm going to shut this down right now and I'm going to restart. I'm going to try Google Chrome. So I have Google Chrome open now. I restarted the computer obviously because it was frozen and I'm gonna try with Google Chrome and I'm thinking it's probably gonna do the same thing but if it doesn't I guess Google Chrome is my new browser for uh, Windows 7 so uh, like I said before um, everything worked perfectly fine before I upgraded to 64-bit and I can kinda understand the browser's crashing, but I don't. It makes no sense why uh, the whole system crashes when uh, when I go on a certain website. So let's click on Scotiabank.ca and see what happens. I'm thinking, like I said, it's gonna crash again, but yeah. Hmm. That makes absolutely no sense, and this is a fresh install of uh, Windows 7. So anyway, I'm going to go and see if I can figure this out, and in the meantime, if anybody knows a solution to this, or has had the same problem, leave a comment down in the comment section, or send me a personal message here on YouTube, click the like button so I can get this video seen. Because I'd really like a solution to this problem and the more people that see it the better.